So all you need today for this painting that we're going to do is your uh, primary colors of red, yellow, and blue. These have really nice bristles and they're great for your trees and your bushes. Okay. And then we have a flat synthetic brush, chiseled edge, and I have a flat um, a filbert brush, which is a chiseled edge and synthetic. And I also have a liner brush. Hi, I'm Alison Pryor, and today we're going to paint this beautiful painting with, and I have some really nice techniques to show you highlights and to do this beautiful landscape. All right, let's get started. And I'm going to show you how to paint all this with only three colors, your primary colors plus white, and that's it. That's the only three colors I used in this painting. I'll show you how to do that today too. So I'm going to put, um, there's going to be some water down here. So I'm just going to put all blue down there, really light blue to reflect the sky, but most of it's going to be covered up with land, okay? So I'm just going to do that anyway, just the way I like to work. You can do it, you can do your land first and put your water on after. It's entirely up to you, but I like, I like making things simple, you know? I don't like working around things, I don't like working around See how light I'm, I'm using because I don't really need too much down here. So mostly white, a little bit of blue. Because I want the center of it to be nice and light anyway for my my water. So just put that on there and we'll get that done. The fun part about this is you don't have to worry about but it uh, about you know making certain strokes, but it's a good way to practice blending. See, I'm blending everything together. And how I'm doing that, I'm not going to miss the bottom part, okay, because I don't need to. It's only a small area. I'm just going to make sure I have lots of white paint. I find adding white paint to your colors, really, it brightens them up, and it, and it makes your paint blend beautifully, okay. So, always keep lots of white handy. That's, the, the, that's what you're going to be buying the most. Have lots of white, and... Uh, you're going to be using that the most, okay? Especially if you're doing winter scenes and things. But you need it's white can add op, it can be make your paint opaque because a lot of it is transparent, the reds and that, and some of the blues and and this way the white will brighten up your colors. All right. Not going to worry too much. Just stay underneath there. Don't touch. Don't go up too high, that way you won't ruin your horizon, okay? And it doesn't matter because we're going to be putting trees and some land there. But in the center here, let's just keep that bright. All right. Now, we want to decide, so we don't need to worry about this too much. Just put on a little bit of paint, not to worry. It's the way I do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out where I want my land, all right? So I'm going to... Take my brush, I'm not going to use chalk this time because my paint is still wet. I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to put some blue on there just so I can use that to help me. So my water is going to come from back here somewhere under the rainbow. So my water will probably, the way I want it, okay? I'm thinking here. And it's probably going around. We want to make it look like it's going off in the distance. So we got to be careful that we don't. Uh, so I'm not sure. Not sure. All right. So I'm going to bring it around here, I think, and back in here, back out, and then this one here, I'll probably bring it out. Let's say in and out and in and down there somewhere okay so that gives me an idea of what way I'm going to have my colors now I'm going to go to my bristle brush bristles are great for making really nice grass grassy areas now we only have three colors to work with we only have our primary colors so here's how we're going to make our green we're going to take our blue and our yellow 
be a really pretty green. I want to add a little tiny bit of red to it to make it more earthy. See, isn't that pretty? Look at that. Just by adding a little bit of red. And that's only the three primary colors. And you know something you can save a lot of money on, uh, on paints if you just use the primary colors. Primary colors. But look, tap, 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 tap. Just look at all that texture I'm getting just by tapping with a bristle brush. Look, now that paint's still a bit wet. Make sure you dry your paint, okay? Just here. Well, let, I'll dry that now because I'm only getting the light color, so I'm on a darker color. Colors so I'll dry that. Oh, look. <laughs> well, I was making my rainbows pretty, isn't it? Uh, okay, so our blue, it's blue, yellow, and a bit of red. See how the red darkens it? If your colors get too, you don't like them that way, just add a little more yellow to brighten it up a bit. Get more on the green side. That's nice. Look at that. So you can come up here because we're going to put some trees here. It's okay. And we will fill fill all that in. If you want to get a little more, um, you know, like you can add a little more of a little uh, to get different shades of grass. If you make it too muddy, you don't like it, start over. Okay, clean your brush, really good. And start over. So you stay away from there if you don't want that color. Put on your blue first, okay, and then your yellow. So you put on enough yellow to get your get it nice and green, and a little bit of red to make it a bit earthy. And then you go back in again. See. So once you get to know what colors to use and how to mix them. Then you'll be able to paint without having to worry about that much. The only thing you'll have to worry about is getting it the way you want it. Once you get most of the basics out of the way, then you can paint and have more fun with it. That you're not concentrating. How do I mix these colors? How do I, you know? So you gotta get the basics out of the way, like learning how to play piano or, or an instrument, or and you have to, you get the in, you get the basics out of the way, and then. You can start working on the songs themselves once you learn the chords and you know what I'm saying, right? Okay. So I'm just mixing up. Now when you go back to remix, it's not going to be exactly the same color, that's fine, as long as it's on the green side. Alright, so don't worry too much, right? You know, like make sure. It's just green. It's not going to turn out purple, or unless you want that, you know. But but see how how much texture is in there? That nice. Tap 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 tap. Don't go back. Over. I'm just trying to experiment, and when you go back over this up here. The canvas will come through because it's starting to get tacky. So I'm just trying to things out so you can see me what I'm doing, and then you can know not to do what I'm doing. Just do things that uh, that work. So if you see that your paint is coming through, your canvas is coming through. That means that your paint is starting to dry. It's getting tacky. And no, no, don't don't spray it with magic white. I know what some of you are thinking. Don't. Well, I should spray it with magic white. No, don't. Because it'll take too long and it will. Because we're working on a smaller area. I can say, well, yeah, go ahead if you want, but I think you'll probably get frustrated if it won't dry. So 
just look at that texture. All right. That's coming out pretty nice, isn't it? I think it's coming out lovely. All right, next we will use our fan brush. Let's get some background trees going. Let's get some cute little background trees going, hey? So get a small fan brush. If you got a small one, there'll be better. Because, well, like I said, depends on the size of your uh, canvas. So you got a bigger canvas, you need a bigger a bigger. Uh, Depends on the size of your canvas, all right? That's what's going to happen to your brushes. So I'm going to make a really dark color. We're not picking up. We don't have any black. We don't have any. We only have our primary colors. And that's what we're working with today, right? So, I mean, you can do a full painting with only three colors. All right? All right, so we got dark dark green by adding a little a blue and red uh, blue and yellow first to get however dark you want you, the more blue you use the darker it is and then a little bit of red to earth it up okay and we're going to get some trees going here so let's just do some background trees let's just get a little top here and then we'll tap down put one here put one here let's just get decide where we want them okay one here Alright, so we got some here. Alright. They're all over the place. We'll come out to the end here. We'll get a couple little ones there. There's gonna be some bigger ones here, so we don't need to worry too much here, but I like to have uh, some trees here. Alright. And I want some little trees come. I'm just gonna pull them up there. Just pull them up there a little bit. We need lots of paint. Some blue and green. A little bit more blue than green, and that way we get a nice dark. I'll add a little, little trees here. Just get where you want your trees before you actually make the trees. And then you want to make your trees. So, if your paint is uh, getting dry and just damp, put some water on your brush, and make it damp, more damp to loosen up the paint and then just start adding some trees like keep your top and then just tap at it tap 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 back and forth that's all just use the corner of your brush and tap to the left tap, tap to the right put another one here and give it more tap to the left, tap to the right, tap to the left, tap to the right, tap to the left, tap to the right. I'll add another little one in here. Right here, big tree. So we got to uh, I'm going to take that brush and get another a bigger fan brush. Okay, it's a little bit bigger. And I'm going to use the same colors. I'm going to use my blue and my yellow. And I'm going to use more blue than yellow. That way I'll get a really nice dark. So I'm going to 
come up here. Now, where do I want my tree? I want it over closer to the edge, which is all right. And so I'm going to put it here. I'm going to take that tree out because I want my tree to come here. All right. And then I'm just going to tap back and forth again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to miss. See how I didn't just like I did over here, just randomly. So I'm going to start in the middle, and I'm going to come down a little bit so I got some space, and then tap. All right, just tap. All right, and then you can come down underneath that one and come out a little bit. So just come down and tap out. I have little short ones and some long ones and some. We're going to put some highlights on this too. So if you mess it up a little bit, that's okay because we can fix it up with our highlights, okay? So as you get down here, you can start pushing in on your brush to make it thicker down there. All right. All right, there we go. Funny hey, trees, so. Then. Yeah, all right. I think that looks good. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to put some bushes here. But I'll, you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to lighten up my grass a bit. So I'm going to take my fan brush and I'm going to go right through the yellow. It's got green on it. That's fine. And I'm going to brighten up some of this grass. Now you can start from the end and come up. Tap, tap, tap with your fan brush. Tap, 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 tap. Add a bit of white to it if it's not bright enough. I want it bright. I want it nice and bright because we have a nice bright sunny sky shining down on this. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Leave a little bit on the bottom there so you can, all right, so that you can have a bit of shadow color. All right, all right. So we'll keep tapping. To make it a brighter color, and you can also make sure you don't lose all your shadows, the darks underneath. So just jump over a few things here. All right, so that gives it a brighter look. And then you can separate a little bit if you want to. All right, so we're going to keep going here and just kind of jumping around a little bit. So. Okay. Now, so what we want to do now is put some bushes here, just different type of trees. And what I'm going to do is same colors, blue and yellow, just to get a nice dark green, because we're going to be highlighting, so, you know, get something started. So, um, let's see, maybe that's not right. Uh, how do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? Oh, will you please be quiet? All right. So, so what we're going to do is put our bushes here. So we'll, I'm going to add a little bit of red to my green just to make them a little bit of a, a darker color so I can see them. So I'm just going to put some here. Right, so I'm just going to put some down here. Hopefully you can see that. 
I'm going to put the highlights on, you'll be able to see it better. And I'm going to add some uh, over here. Just keep adding, just keep mixing your colors. Don't worry, it was not exactly the same. Alright, and I'm going to add a couple of big bushes here. A big old tree or so, a big old bushy tree. It's not a regular tree, it's like it just made. A big old bushy tree. A couple little bushy ones here on the side. So when we get the, the highlights in, you'll be able to see these better. Okay? The ones in the back here. See? Just tap, 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 tap. Alright, I'm going to leave that open there. And we're doing fine. See how things change? Right? It changes as you go along. So many ideas that you had could change. So I'm just going to put a couple here. They're hard to see because they got them almost the same color. I'll add a bit of yellow to them just so you can see them. Because I really wanted to put, you know, darker colors there. So, so I could highlight them. But I want to do this for you so you can see them, alright? So these are going to be extra bushes here. Right here. Alright, and that tree there, I might, I'm going to see now, I, I haven't decided, that it looks like it's behind everything, so I'm not sure if I want to bring that down a bit, I might do that, because, see, you can make changes, and hopefully I don't, you know, make this too hard for you, okay? So I really think, but I need to lighten up this grass enough so you can see the tree. So it's a good learning experience. Now. And these are going to be highlighted more too, so we will get all that done now in a second. Let's get our fan brush back. And we will. I'm going to lighten up that area there even more, just so that when I bring the tree down, you'll be able to see it. Alright, so I don't know how far down I'll bring the tree. That looks better. Now I'll be able to see the tree, see? All right. Maybe I'll bring it down here. All right, so I'll do is what we will. Take our bristle brush. You need a bristle brush for the, for the when we're tapping. As far as bushes, okay, nice so see colors. colors. Alright, I'm going to pick pink. I got white and red. I just want something different, you know, to brighten up our painting because pinks, reds, uh, they sell your paintings. They sell your paintings, that's for sure. People see a bit of red in your painting, they want it. <laughs> they want it. That's a pretty pink. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. See? What a difference it makes, doesn't it? Even this tree up here, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna use the pink just to give it a, a different just to brighten it up a bit. Yep. So we'll say that tree is behind there, so I'll leave that alone. Alright, so we're just gonna put a little bit of pink into our painting. It's nice, isn't it? Maybe we'll put some orangey colors just to add. My brush is dirty, so I'm just going to add a bit of yellow to, to give it kind of a, an orangey color. And I will get some colors over here. So make sure you skip over it and make them little different heights and things. Smaller ones, taller ones. A little few over here because that's where the tree's going to come down the middle there, right? Add more white if you really want to brighten them up good. Okay, so you want to really highlight them bright, make them nice and bright. Look, see these? You can tap on some whites and that really brings them out more. Okay. And down here, it'll look like if you put some white in there, it will separate them a little bit so that you can say, well, that's a separate bush from that one. All right. 
Good. Seeing that more red, I feel a lot more red. No, and pure red, if you want to add pure red, you can certainly do that too. Maybe we'll put some little roses or something in there. I'm not sure yet. Just try to make it up as I go along. As long as you get a bit of color in there. So you look at your colors and say, do I want that color? Do I want some reds? Or do I want yellow? Clean off your brush or it gets too messy. I'm just going to some yellow. Maybe you might want some yellow in there instead. You know, see? You can add it in with what you're doing. See? And if you want a really bright yellow, add a bit of white to your yellow. And if you want to add some yellows in here. Just to break it up a little bit. Okay. And we will fix that tree now. We'll fix a few things there. So I'm going to get my fan brush again. So we go back and forth. You know, that's the way you do it. I'm going to add a little bit of my, my grass here. So I want to make my yellow and my white. Go underneath those bushes to show where they end. All right, so that ends there like that. Now, if you're having a hard time getting your paint to come to the color you want, you have to let it dry because what's happening even here is that the colors I'm putting on are blending in with the paint because it's all because it's wet. So I'll dry that, make it a bit easier for myself and for you. And uh, all right, and then we will see how it makes that looks like it's sitting on top of the grass. See. So you do have to go back and forth. I'm sorry, I'm very sorry, but uh, we have to go back and forth. And I'm going to fix that tree there now. Maybe here. Then I can start putting in these little... Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm looking around to see what I need to fix. This here, I don't like it. So I will take my green, my blue and my yellow. Take my blue and my yellow, nice dark green. I'm just going to tap in a little bit of dark colors in between there because I'm finding it's a little bit too, it needs a, uh, Needs a better shape. So we see something, just look at it and see if it needs any more shape or it needs something to fix it up. You can do that too. So I'll add color to that after. You can also, if you feel like you need more trees, I want to take my liner brush, make those trees a little taller. Now I'm taking my liner brush because I only want the tops, right? I don't want to fool around with the trees. So I'm just going to take my dark green. And I'm going to put tops on these trees. It's all kinds of little tricks, see? That's why I don't mind doing this going back and forth for you. I'm going to do too much. A few little 
highlights on those trees. Just taking my yellow and kind of not worrying about it. just pulling these little little lines like uh, like a little comma, 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 comma. See all these little tiny details. It helps a lot because you're trying to get your three values. Right? You want to get your three values. You want to. You don't want to overdo it, but you want to get your three values. You want to be able to show shape, form. And that's how you do it with highlights and squiggly lines. <laughs> Now, let's see if I can get that tree to look like a tree. I'm going to try. I'm going to take some of my yellow paint. See what happens. I'm just going to assume it looks like the sun is coming in from the right. Let's try and dab on a little bit of just on the right there for now. And then I will worry about the left. Just on the very top. Jumping over some. Alright, so we'll do that again after. A little bit on the left. A little bit in the middle. I want the left to be brighter. I'm just trying to darken up with some of your green there. Alright. on top of what you did. I know this might be, maybe this is for people who are a little more experienced, so I'll call it intermediate. How's that? For you intermediate guys. For you smart Alex. <laughs> over here so it looks like it's a shape. Might have to wait for it to dry as you can see the paint is moved it's called it's going in with the but you can see it looks it looks more like a tree now see now you got your highlights on there see that's how it works highlights it's better I'll let that dry now. I'll probably put some more highlight over here because I can't seem to get that shape that I want. And I don't want that to be the light side of the tree. It's some hard to stop picking at it, isn't it? It's very difficult because it's so fantastic. It's it's fascinating, I guess is the word. It's fascinating how you're dabbing and tapping with a bit of paint and, and all of a sudden you see a tree or you see something. It's, it's fascinating. It's the only word I can describe painting. It's fascinating. So now we got to make brown. So we got to make brown out of our three colors. Now how are we going to do that? Let's see, let's see. I'm going to take a flat brush so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some brown around here just to make it look like there's, you know, the edge of the bank, right? So let's see if we can make some brown, 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 brown. Normally I would use burnt sienna, but like I said today, I just want to make show you how to mix <laughs> so, your colors. Okay? We're going to make blue and yellow. That's ultramarine blue, cad yellow, cad red, or whatever colors you got there. And that's our green, right? Now, we're going to add red to that. Red and green. Make some nice brown. brown. Alright. Get a little bit more yellow. See that one. Not bad. Get a little bit of white. See the kind of brown. That's a nice brown. Nice and dark. So I'm going to add that to the edges of my bank. I'm just going to take my chiseled edge and I'm just going to add that to the edge of my bank. Okay? Just boink, boink, and out. Just go right around that edge, 
used a chiseled edge. Just go around and just a, a skinny one as you get up here. Same here, just want to clean up the edge here. Whenever you got banks, you need to put an edge around them. Okay? So, that will give you a nice edge to your bank. You can pull it up a little bit if you want. So there's not a line there. Smooth it out. So that's how you get your brown. See, we're using three colors. Now we're doing all these colors with just three colors. And you thought you had to have 500 different colors, didn't you? Like I did when I first started. Like, what? Well, I'm going to do with all these purples and yellows. And when I can make my own. I'm going to add a little bit of white to my... Just add a little bit of white. I just mixed up a bit of white and added there. And I'm going to make these little rocks, just a little touch. Give it a, a, a look of maybe there's some rocks here or something. Just touch. Don't need to do anything else. Touch, 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 touch. Okay, so that's that. And then we will. I'm going to bring this over a little bit more. I know I'm making changes last minute. Sorry. <laughs> so I might just take that out here a little bit more. And so I can narrow that up there a little bit. I'm kind of applying it a bit wide. Now you don't have to do this. If you're happy with what you what you have there, you can leave yours alone. But I'm always trying to make adjustments. Always. I like that better. I just want to show you too that you can make adjustments. You don't have to stick to everything that you have there. That's better. I kind of got a nice little hump there now. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to use my brown to line it up a little bit and then I'll highlight it. Okay. Then I'll highlight it. Probably put a couple of trees here. Just pull them up. Yeah, I like that better. Looks now that the behind. A bit better. I'm trying to keep my horizon line. Don't want to destroy that. I'm going to get a bit of blue paint, just a dark blue paint, and put that a little bit of shadow on my water. Gives a kind of little bit of movement there. You let some of that white come through there. I'll give it a little bit of movement. A little bit of blue. Small bit of white, but more blue than white because I want to get some shadows in there. Just putting it on. And I'm going to start adding white to that now so it won't be too dark. And I like it dark down here a little bit. So catch that now while it's still wet. So pick up lots of white. Clean off your brush. Clean off some of the blue and Clean off some of the blue and uh, put some white on there. Okay. See that? This way you're going to get some nice. Stay to the right a little bit. 
Now I'm going to get more white. Clean off your brush a bit. More white. Now clean off your brush. No paint whatsoever. And smooth that out into each other. I don't want to lose all my white, so. So I'm going to add more white to my brush. Clean your brush again. I don't want to, I'm trying to get more to the white side now. I'm going to start here and I'm going to pull it over. So I'm trying to show you some different things that you can do. You know, because this will help you in your other paintings too, see? Right? Isn't that nice? Look at that. That's pretty, isn't it? It's just that I love to pick, pick, pick. I'm going to get my yellow and my white. I want to add some more highlights. Um, maybe a bit more green. I forget about this up here. So I'm going to tap that on the edge here. Just tap, tap, tap. See? Now we got a green spot up there. Now I'm going to add a little more white to my green. And I'm going to add a few little highlights coming down over those rocks. Just get more natural look, okay? These are all the things you can do on the, um, the last minute. Right? Want a little more highlight, just get a little bit of yellow and a bit of white. Make sure you keep, try to keep some of your grassy area so you can see it. You know what I mean? See the darks in there? See? Now if you lose your darks, just take a bit of your uh, green Make it out of your blue and your, and take a, a, a dark green and put it in between if you lost, you know, because you still want your contrast, all right? So we still look for contrast. We don't want to lose our contrast. Contrast and all these things that I'm mentioning while I'm painting is what people are asking me. They're saying, well, how do I get, how do I make my paintings pop? Well, Contrast. See how it's making the grass pop better there now? Better there now? Better there now? <laughs> oh, darn. Went into the water by accident. Alright, so see how those, those darks now bring that out a bit more? The lights, but make sure you don't go over the lights. You know, keep your lights because you went through trouble of putting them in. Alright, so... And you add contrast, see, makes everything pop. See that? Pretty cool, hey? So the only thing I want to do now is, I mean, I want to do lots of things. I would love to add a big tree here or something, but I, I don't want to go too far with it. You know, we got some nice little colors here. We might add a little bit of color in our grass, maybe some little flowers, some little poppies or something, but for now I want to get my liner brush, get a long liner brush, as long as you can find it with the sharpest point, alright, I got them in my Amazon shop if anybody's looking, it could be a flower, <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. All right, so just got some flowers down here on the bottom. Trying to get them to move is the thing. All right, so I got some some of the, the little bushes and that down here that I wanted. And what I want to do is just add a few little, a few little flowers.
So I'm going to keep using my little liner brush and I'm going to clean it off of it. And I'm going to dip into my red. Like I said, red is always a good color. I'm going to put a red dot here, a red dot here, a red dot here, a red dot here, and here, and here, and up here. I don't want it to look too symmetrical. And then I touch. Touch, touch, touch. To make it a little different, just put them either on one side or both sides or just underneath or just on top, you know, just give them a little bit of a different shape. Because they're probably blown in the wind and everything, who knows, right? So I'm just going to take my yellow paint and put a few little flowers in the field, a little bit of white and yellow. Yellow, white. Oh, that was a bit too big. All right, then yellow. Well, too big because they're supposed to be far away, right? You know what I mean? You want to create distance. You don't want them to be too big. It'll be like... I think that's it. I have a hard time stopping. A few little flowers. That's fine. And then we will... What do you think, guys? You want any more? What else would you like to do with your... How about a little butterfly or something? I'm going to try a little butterfly. I'm going to take a very small brush, flat. And I'm going to try, maybe I shouldn't try this. <laughs> try a little red butterfly, a little bit of yellow on it or something. Just get some colors going on there. And maybe um, I'll make a, a smiley face. And a sad face. Mm, yeah, it's a cute little butterfly, isn't it? Smiley face, sad. Well, it's pretty face. simple. I'll put a couple little petals here. I'll just put some dark color on one side and uh, white on the other. I'm just touching, touch, touch. Make a few little pebbles, rocks, sort of. So many things you can do with these little tiny details. You don't have to do very much. Because it's know? standing out really nice there. So that's kind of nice there, giving a kind of a focal point, isn't it? Adding little bits of white. Huh? It's kind of nice, isn't it? Just a little bit. On top of what you just did, don't destroy what you did. Just on top, you know, around the area. 